All right, guys, um, injuries from the game. Cleve Farrell had a knee. Um, no ACL, no MCL, but uh, we'll have to figure out exactly what it is tomorrow. Uh, Taylor Hawkins there at the end had a wrist, and that was it from the game. We talked about it through the week, but how much of this game is you just holding your breath, not wanting to see somebody go down? Uh, the whole game, yeah. You know, you, you want to get a win, but you also want to make sure of that. And uh, it's unfortunate to have that, that with Clee. Um, most of everything else went pretty clean, though. There's a chance he could, Clee could miss a game. Uh, yes, there's a chance. Going to the playoffs, how concerned are you with uh, Jake Moody misses today? Um, I mean, it's never good when you miss him, especially having two like that and uh, the extra point. And I think it was his first one inside the 40, maybe all year. Um, but you know, but he's, he's had a hell of a year. He's done a hell of a job up to this point and just had a rough day today. Would you see bringing in somebody on a practice squad or just having somebody else on hand? No, he's been great all year. And uh, I know he, he was rough on those two today, but no, we're, we're good with Jake. What did you think of Sam Darnold today? I thought Sam did some real good things. Um, he made a number of plays that kept us out there. He did a great job scrambling. Uh, he was awesome on his sneaks, the quarterback draw. I think he moved the chains one other time with his legs, made some big throws. I know that last play was unfortunate, just stepping up in the pocket there and those guys coming from behind him with the fumble, but uh, I was happy with Sam today. Kyle, what are you seeing with Beal? He had a, it seemed like he had a nice day today. Uh, yes, I was glad to get a lot of guys some more playing time today. Um, you know, he's been great since he came back from IR. He's getting better and better each week, and um, today was good for him. I'm excited to watch the tape and see exactly how he did, but it seemed like he did some good things. For guys like Trent Bosa and those guys, did you have a set number of plays you wanted to get him, or was it a series? Like, how, how did you kind of? No, I mean, I, I, I told Trent and Nick, you know, we were trying to go around 10 to 15. Um, you know, it was perfect for that opening play drive. I mean, the opening drive being about 10 plays, so that was great for Trent. And um, it was weird with the defense. You know, I felt like, you know, they had that opening 11 play drive, and then I think we got a pick on the first play. There was only like 12 plays until uh, the very end of the, the two minute when they're trying to get Puka the ball. Um, but once some time went, I mean, I got, got them out there at the end of the second quarter, and um, no one came back after half. Message in the locker room in terms of maybe switching into the playoff mindset now. Um, I mean, kind of. The, I mean, that's really what we talked about all week. Um, having that playoff mindset, knowing the level that we have to play at coming in a couple weeks, and um, that's why it was so important for us to get a lot out of this week. You know, we had to practice that way. We talked about it a lot last night um, at our team meeting and uh, set the schedule for the week. And guys are going to have tomorrow off, um, but we'll come here Tuesday, treat it like a day after game on Tuesday, and get going. Practice hard this week. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have two days. We practice real hard. Um, we'll probably have one day. We just do like a, key, a team conditioning thing. Not much football, but uh, we'll have two days. We practice real hard. Kittle and Greenlaw were pregame scratches. Are you concerned with that injury? No, I mean I, I bet you that. I mean they definitely were trying to go, but Kittle's having some back spasms. Um, so once that was happening in pregame, we shut him down, and um, Dre had some Achilles tendonitis. So. Um, that was acting up a little bit more before the game than we had heard about it. And um, once we heard that, we were safe of them. Is there anything cautionary? Video? Yeah, definitely. Is there anything beneficial at all about playing the Rams in case they're your first round opponent? Um, I don't think so. But. You don't think Matt Stafford's going to run the ball like 20 <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, they got us ready for that. So well, hopefully that we got better at that for today. How happy were you that McVay went for two? Did you guys? Did you guys talk at all before the game? Uh, any gentlemen's agreement on that? No, I mean, we both, um, when we talked, we both knew what this game was for both of us. But I mean, we both know we want to win. But first thing is trying to keep our players safe. And um, I was just told we were just trying our butts off to keep them from getting one more yard and one more completion of Puka so he could play him the whole game. So that's what I was. No. Coverage at the end of the half. Oh, yeah, we were trying to. Our goal was to just keep him going the whole game. Um, but we knew it was going to be tough. We only need one more catch and one more yard, but we tried our hardest. Would you be mad if someone did that to you? You know, you're going for a, a number and someone did that to your guy? No, I, I'd expect it. And that's why we'd throw to someone else open. But I was hoping they were going to do that, but I think they wanted to get him out pretty fast. And I'm just glad he had to come in the third. It was a small, small, small victory. So you're trying to tire him out, is that? What's that? You're trying to tire him out a little? Not tire them out. Just, I want them to go through the stress that we're going through. You don't want to get anyone hurt. I mean, those aren't that, the most fun games for us. You got to do it. And but, um, you know what? I don't think we're going to talk much about it next week. 
Um, so we're going to talk about what players are available for this game and things like that. So, I mean, I'm trying not to be really upset how it ended personally, um, but I also got to keep it in perspective and um, make sure that we're ready for what matters going here forward. Now you are right into the playoffs. Just your general assessment of the way this regular season went and how you feel about your team. Um, I mean, our goal was to get the number one seed. That, that was our first and foremost goal. Um, we did. It was just a little bit weird this last week. Um, but I like how our guys handle it. I loved how our year went. I mean, we set out to do this, and um, I was real happy with a number of guys. I thought guys got better throughout the year. But as, as our players have been saying, we, we still feel um, our, our best football's forward. And that's kind of tough to generate when you're not going through these games. Um, but that's why we got to be so locked into these practices and just how we clean things up and make sure no matter what happens, no matter who comes here in a couple of weeks and no matter what type of game it is, whether it's a shootout, a game of field goals, um, whatever it is that uh, we're up for whatever it takes to win it. Regardless of the circumstances, is it particularly annoying to lose to Sean McVay? No, I'm, I'm all right. I mean, uh, it's annoying to lose to everybody. I mean, you know, like it's, it's a little bit more when it's your rivals and or when it's someone in your division and it's always a little bit more when you know people, but it's not just him. There's a bunch of people on the staff I know, so it all they all annoy me. Is there any <laughs> thought to giving Brandon Allen some run? Um, not really. I mean, we talked about it a little possibly, but um, the way that game was going and stuff, thought it would have been a little bit unfair to Sam and um, loved how he battled and got that experience. He'd been waiting for that all year. and um, But no, I mean, we talked about for the game, but it just didn't play out that way. I mean, I really feel... You know, we only really had two drives in the second half till there was about those till the four minutes till we had that three and out. So just weren't that many plays. Do you advance scout at all this week coming up, or do you just wait until you find out who you play? I mean, because you got, you're not, you can't play Detroit, you can't play Dallas, but any of the other four you could. Yeah, we'll dabble in it all. I mean, um, we got to do something with that stuff when we'll go crazy as coaches, but, you know, hopefully we'll find out by Sunday. I don't. Starting to hit me that I don't think we can officially find out until maybe Monday because I know there's a Monday, there's Monday night game, so that'll be a little bit different. Haven't gone through that, so we'll definitely plan for all the possibilities um, and have be halfway in on a bunch. And as soon as we get told, then we'll be 100 percent in. That's it. All right, guys. See you later.